obviously the the crash later on in that TT mm. was, crash? was no one's uh, seen it before uh, so. yeah it's like it's you know if, I mean I remember going to watch that movie and I it was I it um went to watch it in Newcastle a big sort of theater yeah. and <clears throat> you know I bet every single person that watched that crash there's like a a massive like gasp like a yeah, type yeah. of thing and then it got the movie goes really quiet and it's like very dramatic yeah um i guess i must people must ask you all the time about, about it and stuff but like it's um yeah it, it like it's unbelievable that you, you man you know like came through it yeah it's, yeah it's amazing you're sucking in air after that <laughs> that's it, yeah that was yeah there's no more surprise than i was really after um yeah seeing the actual footage I was about to say, can you remember it? Can you like, like? No, I remember my last thing I remember was getting my last pit board over the mountain from my uncle Tynan. I was at the Gooseneck. Oh yes, I. After that, is a it's blank. Mm. Yeah. Um, Jesus. And then hospital. And that was it, really. Yeah. Well, Start of all. First memory waking up in the hospital, job. Yeah. Well. I... <laughs> I was still, I knew Talk. I was absolutely written off. <laughs> you know, I wasn't really That's able to. That's that. Yeah, there we are. I wasn't getting up in a hurry. Um, but one of the first things I asked, because I knew that race, I, it was like there was, there was myself, Hutchie, and John was sort of tossing out a little bit. It was like three seconds was covered to three hours, I think. And um, anyway, I went down. And. Um, but the first thing I asked when I sort of came around was, was I catching him? <laughs> that was just, that was all I was bothered about. I couldn't get a shit. That was arms and bits. And... <laughs> yeah, but it was, it was shaping up to be a, a good, oh, I was more disappointed about that really, you know, you know, one thing injuring yourself, but you just, it's a shame really, because it's one of them sort of what could have been, but I ah, well. Shit does happen, doesn't it? Do you know, like nowadays, when you say drive over over the mountain, and it, like when you go past that corner, and you, do you is it a reminder? Like, do you th do you think about it much, or is it just do you just park it to one side? No, uh, the, the, the first. Sorry, go on. No, no, no sorry, I was just about to say. You know, when you because I go around that corner, mm. and like it, like on that the footage almost makes it worse than it is. You know, like the like the TT thing because they zoom in on the cat's eyes, and every time I'm going around the veranda four, it's like. I'm like, stay away from the cat's eyes. Now, in your <laughs> opinion, what, what, like, it, it's like the shock offloads, and you're thinking, like, around there, you, even on, like, I go, I've never been around a super bike, I've been around a stocker, and mm. even then, you're like, fully, fully stretched, aren't you? And you yeah. just tip, and it, it's just, because you have you the feel <clears throat> of the camber, but when you watch that footage, it, it just, woof, it, it, it it's, yeah. it's a bit of a weird one. What do you think happened? Uh, the, well, I know for a fact, the wind played a huge part on it. Uh, yes. I had a... Um, I sort of... Clearly, I was beaten up, and I was like, right, get fixed, and then we'll think about what happened after. You know what I mean? It didn't really do me any favours to think about it. Yes, I But I, what I, I did do, was I got the footage from the the guys who took it, North One, I think, um, and I took it... I went down to see Chris Palmer, because uh, he could good friend of mine ask him about a pint glass <laughs> 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 maybe not yeah. no 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 you ask him about next time I'm going to introduce you to Chris Palmer and you ask him about a pint glass I'm so glad he laughed because yeah. I thought that was oh yeah that was, it's 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 like watching a car crash Chrissy it, it, it's it's magical anyway continue. after nine o'clock <laughs> the watershed bro yeah. <laughs> I, I, I took I took this footage down and I wanted to sort of get a bit of closure on it so he um oh I experienced guy i thought he's he's definitely the one to have a, have a chat with so we sat and watched it and it was so weird seeing us it was like it was like i wasn't watching me mm. i knew yeah. it was me but i was like that's not me it felt so that strange. didn't happen yeah yeah and uh so that was that and then after all of the the filming that we did for the the closer to the edge film uh i actually met the marshal a guy called mike clegg who was on the corner that i crashed on and he's uh, he's from Laxey, uh, which is just down the valley from where I actually went off the bloody mountain. Yeah. And uh, he said, he said that I actually was bang on line, didn't do anything wrong. He said, but right at the time that you came around the corner, the wind picked up. It was it was quite strong, and it, he said it went really cold. 
it, on a, see, my my dad unfortunately he's had he's had two issues around that <laughs> truck, like um, an S three six fifty. You know, uh, it's not the mountain box. No, anyway, it's like um, you cut the mountain mile, can't go over right, and you know that lovely like four apex left. You yeah. know, when you tip it at the second, go out wide, come back in. And my dad was on my S three six fifty. He came around there. Now they red flagged the session just before and because the wind picked up. I can't remember what year it was. And uh, and it came round and the the wind just snapped the front from him. And that mm. exact, that's where the valleys open up. That's right. It comes straight yeah. through. And bear in mind, me, me dad's uh, a little bit a little bit heavier than him on a, on, a, <laughs> on a slower, lower bike, if you know what I mean. So it's like that. I, I can totally back that up. Yeah. And so can me dad. Um, mm. <laughs> just the front went bang straight from. What were your injuries from that? Um, so I had five uh, fractured vertebrae in my back. Two were unstable, so I'd have rods and screws, uh, shattered humerus, uh, nerve a, a nerve palsy, when they called it. So I put me wrist to sleep, um, and then I had a dislocated, so yeah, dislocated knee, um, and it, but it's just ripped all the tendons, ligaments, and stuff. So. I was actually quite lucky to keep my lower leg mm -hmm. because it, when it happened, it was like the, the, the guy tended to me on the track he, or the, the mountain. He uh, <laughs> halfway down to Lax, he's so nice. <laughs> he said he couldn't feel a pulse on my foot because he said that's how he noticed that's how that's how he noticed my my knee was dislocated, so he had to pop it back in, uh, and I had a fractured pelvis. Wow. Which one um, gives you the most bother um, now? Because you're like mostly Wolverine now. You're like a, yeah, you're like a Marvel superhero. I don't superhero. really have any bother with them at all. I mean, the, the one I have bother with at the minute, I've, I've got a bit of an issue with my pelvis. Yeah. Um, when I slipped off the Ulster a couple of years ago at the hair, and it was wet, it was damp, and it was, I slipped off my fault. Yeah. Just being, it's a silly mistake. And then, unfortunately, Peter had nowhere to go, and he ran over my pelvis. <sighs> and... Uh, I had like a balloon on my, my hip for yeah. that gives me aggro. <laughs> and obviously, obviously picking up the kids every day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. god, Does. I love you, darling. But I'm going to put you back that's down. The, yeah. <laughs> that's the only one I have aggro with. Right. Yeah. There we are. Sorry, Chris. You were in, saying. In terms of uh, recovery time, what was what was your recovery like? Um, I was back on a bike in nine months. Nine months, wow. Mm. From that crash, that's From unbelievable. That crash. And it's maybe a difficult question to answer, I suppose, but during during the time that you were you were uh, recovering, did you use getting back onto a bike as a motivation or did you have times where you thought, nah, that's that's it, that's, mm. I'm not doing this again? No, I knew I wanted to get back on the bike. Really? 100%. Um, and wasn't, it was only going to be something physical that was going to stop me. Mm -hmm. Because I had that much going on with injuries, it was always like, I mean, I had to, I had to train to to be able to do that again, mm -hmm. and that and that was obviously you need to do that for the clutch. Yeah. Um, I couldn't change gear properly because my my big toe, because of all that happened with my leg, I couldn't lift me me foot up. Jesus, so I could hardly change gear. It was all a bit of a to get me sat on the bike. It was a bit of a hash, but get into that point of being sat on a bike again was my target and that's what got me going mm -hmm. in nine months that is incredible though yeah what do you yeah, think yeah. of that it was a big ask but we, we did it um surgeons were brilliant uh my family friends of course but uh and my physio uh, Kath yeah. davis yeah i tell you what i'm gonna throw this fact in here he had an like it was a very short drive for me but it was probably the longest drive of his goddamn life i drove him all the way from Metty back to manchester airport and i, I had to ask the question i was going <laughs> so how did how did this the, the coffee idea come in your head and, and you were actually saying how coffee massively helped you through your recovery which yeah. is a really interesting fact yeah it um just the short story is it, it was i was get having a cup of coffee in the morning and it took I felt as though it took the edge off yeah. the pain. Mm -hmm. It wasn't actually pain, actually. It was discomfort. I was just like, ah, oh, bloody hell, you know. Mm -hmm. Could do without this. Well, no, but they are. But like, it is, it's, a, it's a pleasure at the end of the day. People like, like you know, it's like a, for a couple of quid a day, it's like something like nice that people can look forward to. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm a me, big coffee fan. Like, I, I, yeah. Yeah. I've, I, in terms of, yeah. But you're yeah, an addict. If, if you think of, you know, like, say if you added it up all year and yeah. you, you lumped it together as a thing, you would think, God, I, like, it's a ridiculous amount of money to spend on, on but I enjoy it. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you so, had one of his? 
yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm at at there. Well, at the, at Blanchland. Blanchland, yeah. Blanchland and also at the TT. I am, I'm there all the time. I yeah. that, that little three wheeler thing outside the uh, race office, no, like outside the media center. Yeah, yeah. And there all the time. One, of, you, one gets, of your best customers. Though, that's where he gets his victims. Gets his books. <laughs> yeah. They are lads. Have one of those. Have one of those.